So I'm dealing with a situation right now where a close family member is really pushing my buttons. Now, they've been doing passive aggressive, vindictive, cruel things to me for 10 years now. And I've tried everything I can to resolve the situation, including going into therapy with them twice. And it hasn't gotten better and it has escalated in the last few months. And then recently during quarantine, something happened that was worse than ever. I'm Teresa Schley Valenzuela. I'm a psychic medium, channel, spiritual teacher, author, and transformational image consultant. I've been studying personal growth and human potential for about over, th over three decades now. And I'm going to be sharing the messages I get from my guides that I channel from my guides here in this uh, blog. So when this incident happened the other day, I felt so horrible. Uh, I just, I could feel the pain so heavy in my body. And I went into a really dark place emotionally. Uh, and I was, um, I just wasn't sure how I was gonna get out of it. And that's when I got a message from my guides. And this is what usually happens, you know, when you're feeling low, if you're paying attention, they can really help you, especially if you ask for help. So I got a message from my guides and what they said is, how is it that you're allowing this person to have so much of an effect on you that they do one thing over here and you have a, a reaction over here that completely emotionally debilitates you? How are you giving them that much power? They reminded me that every human being is sovereign unto themselves. And when we allow other people to hurt us, especially when it goes on for a long time, we are giving our power away to them to continually abuse us. So when I heard my, the message from my guides, it immediately shifted me out of the pain that I was feeling. And it um, allowed me to view the situation from a broader and higher perspective. So I don't know about you, but like, I'm not the kind of person that can just go run around skipping through the daisies, singing happy songs all the time, especially when something affects me. It would be wonderful to never react to a negative t situation in a negative way and, and just never let anything get to me. But I'm just not there yet. I'm human. And on top of that, I'm a really emotional person, which is one of the reasons why I can channel and why I'm psychic. You know, it's a, <laughs> it's a double edged sword or I don't know, it's a blessing and a curse. I don't know how to say it, but that's the truth of the matter. You know, I'm not the kind of person that's just like, oh, let it water roll off you like a duck and like nothing bugs me. Things bother me and I have deep emotions about them and that's okay. If you're like me, like it's okay, it's okay for you to be like that. So I know from experience that I need to go through a process of um, a literally processing my emotions. So for me, that includes journaling, exercising, prayer, meditation. I need to go through this process of getting through the emotions and understanding what they are before I can really do anything with them because otherwise it just feels like this big heavy cloud on top of me, which is how I was feeling the other day. And it was so bad. I even lost my appetite for two days. So like, you know, it was bad because that never happens. <laughs> so when I got the message from the guides, it took me out of the negativity and it allowed me to focus on solutions. So the first step was ask, asking myself the right question. Now, one of the things I learned when I was studying neurolinguistic programming is questions are the answer. And so the, the question that you ask yourself is really important. So if I had just said, why are you letting this happen? Or why are you letting this person do this to you? Then that gets me stuck in asking myself what kind of a human being I am. Why are you doing that? What's wrong with you? Like, that's not the solution. By asking how is it that I am allowing this, it, I don't know if you can f feel the difference. Hopefully you can, but it takes you out into what's called a more disassociated space. So it's almost like I'm looking at myself going, well, I don't know, how am I doing that? Like, what is the process to do that? Like, how do you do that? How do you eat an ice cream cone? How do you drive your car? How do you let someone keep abusing you? You know, it's just like a, a, certain, a certain set of s steps that happens that's causing this, that's causing ultimately me to feel pain. So one of the things that I was able to see is that I'm locked into a pattern with this person, especially now there's 10 years of this behaviors, right? So I'm locked into a pattern where they take an action over there and I have the reaction over here. So I'm having the reaction over here. I can change that reaction. 
So I realized that I'm giving this person permission to abuse me by being horrified by what they do. So they, they, you know, abusers get off on abusing people. So they need a certain response in order for them to get, get, get their, their mojo off, their abuser mojo off. So they do abusive act more than likely if they're an abusive person, even if it's passive aggressive, if they're doing the same thing over and over again, they know what they're doing. Even if you were to ask them, you know what you're doing. And they're like, I don't, I didn't mean it. You know, that's, that, that's what I get on my end. That's bullshit. Abusers need someone to abuse and they get a reaction from it. Okay. So this person's going to have a desire to do harm to me until they either evolve spiritually and let go of whatever it is they're holding on to, or I have a different reaction and I no longer give them their payoff. So by taking those steps and asking that question, it allowed me, instead of just sitting in so much deep emotional pain that I felt like I couldn't bear it anymore, it got me to a place where I saw clearly what was my role and what wasn't, what I had power over and what I don't. It also helped me to see that although I've tried to be a good person and just what I've been doing for 10 years is I just take the high road, I pray and meditate on it, how should I deal with it? And then I sit in silence, like I don't complain about it to the rest of the family. Um, my good, close friends know what's been going on, but I don't tell the other family members, I don't want to complain. So I just keep my mouth shut and do my own inter internal work. Well, guess what? That shit ain't working. I've been doing that for 10 years. It's not working. So this situation, like it had to get this bad, it allowed me to see that this, what I have been doing is no longer working and I now must do something different. I must change my strategy. Asking how is it that I'm doing this allowed me to get to the strategy. So I came up with a, a logical, you know, a set of solutions that I can take upon myself. I empowered myself, right? Empowering means I took back my power and I saw clearly that there are a set of actions that I can take that will allow me to, number one, avoid uh, giving this person opportunities to abuse me, and number two, change the way I react to them. Now, these changes that I need to make, unfortunately, some of them are going to be uncomfortable for me, but they will evolve me spiritually. They are uh, making me a better person, in other words. Like, I'm not gonna harm myself so that I avoid harm from that other person. So these concrete action steps, while they are a little bit uncomfortable for me, um, they're gonna help me evolve as a person. And that's how you know that you're making the right choices. So one of the most important changes that I can make is to stop feeling badly when this person does what they do. Now you're probably asking yourself, well, yeah, that's easier said than done. How do I just stop feeling bad? Well, the truth is, what, you know, I sat down and really thought about this and I realized when I focus on what I'm doing with my life, how I make a contribution, how I'm living my dream as much as I can, how I'm helping and uplifting the important people in my life, how I'm a good mother and how I always try to do the right thing. And I am always open to communication, including with this person. So when I focused on all those things, then I was able to see that there was more opportunities for me to not feel bad when this person does what they do, when this abuser tries to abuse me. It also reminds me that cruelty doesn't have a place in the light. It doesn't have a place in my life. Cruelty, their cruelty has everything to do with them and nothing to do with me. So I don't have to allow it into my life. Now, they know how to be cruel to me in a way that's going to be cause maximum harm. That's what abusers do, especially if you have abusers who are long-term abusers. They know exactly how to push your buttons. They know how to push them and they know when to push them. So they know how to cause maximum harm. So all you can do is create a situation where you avoid feeling the harm as much as possible. So again, abusers get off on being abusive, but when we empower ourselves by taking back our power as much as possible and taking actions that will keep us from feeling hurt and will keep us from um, reacting in the way we normally react to cruelty and abuse. That's how we shift out of these patterns because all it is is a pattern, especially if it's been going on a long time, that person does something, you feel what you feel, they get off on it, right? And 
on some level, we are allowing it to happen over and over again. So there's something for us on the end of the abuse to clear as well. And that's the only work that you can do, right? You can't stop them from doing what you're doing. You can only clear your own stuff. So that's what this work is about. So this is why it's so important to break the pattern of this person does one thing over here <clears throat> and you react this way. You can break that equal sign and change it to something like this person does an abusive action. I don't feel anything. That's how we reclaim ourselves. That's how we become empowered. That's how we become sovereign onto ourselves. And that is really at the root of self-love. I hope this technique's helped you. I know that we've all run into people like this and it really helps to have a technique ahead of time so you know how to deal with it. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to ask them in the comment section, get in touch with me. I'm happy to help out. Thanks so much for listening. Look forward to seeing you again soon.